<laughs> Hi, I've decided to do this video today because I've just got a new desk and I love seeing other creative desks because they give me ideas for mine about things I need and things I don't need, but I love them for myself. But don't worry about that today with me because I'm going to show you a super minimal desk setup to maximize your productivity and spend long hours very, very comfortable editing your photography or your videos. So before we go to it, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you love photography, creativity and some blogs here and there because I share weekly videos. So make sure you click the bell button as well to be notified about all of them. The main thing I'm going to talk about is the desk, this amazing standing desk. And I highly recommend you to get a standing desk if you don't have it yet because it's going to be gold for your back. It's not good to be working and standing on your feet all day, but neither sitting down is almost even worse. I don't know about you, but I have so many problems on my back and actually being sat down for that many hours is even worse than standing. So it's good to have like a 50-50 balance. So this desk is very good because you have four programs, which means more people can use the desk and they can set their own height in each program. But in this situation, because I live alone and I use the desk just myself, I have two programs, one to work standing and another one when I'm sat down. And it's very good as well because apart of changing posters all the time, which is very healthy for me and actually keeps me way more productive because I feel more awake when I'm standing, you have a timer as well on this desk. So it's very good as well because you don't need to remember about changing positions. The desk is going to do it for you if you set it up. And also it has a USB port, which is very nice as well to have it because it's very handy to plug your phone when you are working and have it next to you. Even though, for productivity reasons, I recommend you to don't work with the phone on your desk. You can plug another thing you need to charge, but I highly recommend you to don't put the phone. I do it many times, but it's a mistake. And if you are a creative, I'm sorry you get very, very distracted as well with social media and your phone there. So try to don't do that. Also, the load capacity of this desk is 105 kilos okay so you saw in the intro i was on top and it was perfectly okay to go up because it has motors on it and 105 kilos you can load so you don't have to worry about putting two three monitors if you need or speakers or whichever load it's gonna work perfectly and the motors are gonna work perfectly as well and if you take the accessories you get some wheels for the desk and for me this was a must because i'm all the time moving the desk around because of my youtube videos and you get as well like a tiny drawer a box for the cables, I actually have to put it myself yet because it's starting to be messy out there and a hook to hang your headphones. And by the way, nothing I'm talking about today is sponsored, but I'm going to put the affiliate links below, which means I'm going to get a tiny bit commission if you get something from them and you're going to be supporting my channel without extra cost for you. OK, so this is my actual setup where I work every single day and I spend very long hours and this is the stuff I use every single day. And I'm going to start talking about my graphic tablet. If you're a photographer and you're still editing with mouse or a trackpad, well done to you. I used to do that as well, by the way, so I'm guilty of that. But graphic tablet is going to improve your life massively and they are super inexpensive nowadays, guys. Years ago, they were super expensive. It's, it was crazy. But this one is very affordable. I'm going to link it down below as well. It's from Wacom. It's the medium size. I've been using it for almost four years. It goes by Bluetooth. And it's going to be very good to edit your portrait photography landscape and everything you want to edit with. It's very precise with the pencil and way better. And then I'm going to show you the best mouse I've ever tried, which is this one from Logitech. And it's amazing because it has so many keys and you can customize them all as you want, depending on the software. So you can customize for one software the keys in one way and for another software in another way. And what I love about this mouse, apart of all the keys, is that it also has a wheel on the side and it's very good for Final Cut to scroll through my timeline. And then I realized after buying it, now I spot it in many YouTubers. So many filmmakers have it and it must be a reason for it because it has so many keys to customize and it's way quicker to edit your videos. <laughs> then the next thing, headphones. These ones are from Soundcore and I love them because they were very affordable and they are noise cancelling. They are cheap for being noise cancelling because it's quite good, the quality. I was checking for a long time to buy them and I found this brand that everyone was saying they were quite okay for the price. And even if I'm not listening to music, you put them on top and it cancels the noise around you. I don't have too many issues because I live alone, but still it's very good to focus. It does help me to focus. 
but obviously I listen to music a lot when I'm editing photos. And it's a shame that when I'm editing video, I have to listen to my voice <laughs> rather than music. But anyway, you need to have headphones. And these ones are quite good, quite affordable and noise cancelling. If you edit in a laptop, please get a laptop stand because your eyes should be at the level of the top of your screen, not down because then unconsciously you're going to be bending over and I know this from experience, you're going to have so many problems on your shoulders like I have. I have to go to the stop path actually soon because I'm very bad with my shoulders and that's the laptop's job. Now I have a stand so it's quite better but guys get a stand. This one I got it from Amazon and it's good because you can go a bit up with it and a bit down, you can regulate it. Others is just a fixed height and it may not work. So this one is flexible, that's why I got it. Then the laptop, obviously, you are seeing it here, is the 16 inches. It's not the M1, but I don't care because it edits 4K perfectly, so I'm very happy with it. The specs are quite good. Hard drives, guys, hard drives, they are never enough because now I'm editing always in 4K, so I need a lot of space. I do have a few of Lassie hard drives. Lassie, I love this brand, everyone have it. It must be a reason for it, they are very reliable. And then I have SSD drives. These are a must if you do video. I did the beginner mistake, okay? So I was editing my videos through hard drives till one day I saw a video from Chris Howe talking about beginner mistakes in video. And one of them was editing from hard drives rather than editing from SSD drives. And SSD drives are way quicker. The only con is that they are like uh, less capacity, but that's fine because you can get more than one and they're more expensive as well, but they are so tiny and they are very, very good because they are not as fragile as hard drives. But hard drives have more capacity, so I have both. Card reader. I'm sure you have a card reader already, but I have this one from SanDisk because once I bought a very crappy one because I thought it was okay, and it didn't recognize my card anymore and I freaked out because I thought it was the card, my compact flash. And then my dad gave me this one and it's like, Laura, try with this one. And it was perfect. There was no issue with my card. It was the card reader. So for some things, it's better to spend a little bit more, guys, because you don't want uh, to be scared like I was. <laughs> then what else? My business card. Why do I have my business cards on top of my desk? Well, you must have business cards, okay, if you don't have them yet. This is super important because when you are networking or even talking to friends or you cross with someone in an event, you need to have business cards. But the reason I have them on top of my desk is because I don't even know how many times people ask me for business card and I'm like, yeah, I have loads, but they are at home. I forget to take them with me. So I have them there all the time. So that way, if I'm going somewhere, I take a few more and then I have them always with me. So that way I never forget. So they are always there. Then, of course, I have my beautiful, sexy looking film camera, the Minolta, because I love having it there for decoration. I use it as well, but it's very pretty. So I love to have it on my desk because it helps me to be more creative as well. And I have this lamp, which is quite good. You can regulate as well the light. It's very, very affordable and very cheap. There is nothing special about it, but I'm going to link it below. You want to check it out. And what else? Keyboard. I didn't talk about the keyboard. Guys, rubbish. <laughs> Don't get this keyboard or maybe get it. It does the job, okay? It does the job perfectly and it's very cheap. If you need that, you can get it. It comes with a mouse, very flat mouse, not too comfy, but it does the job again. I'm gonna get another one soon. I'm gonna link below both the one I have, very average, and the one I'm gonna get. This one I don't like because it's too flat, so I want to have a bit more height when I'm typing and there is no light on the keys. So it's not too good. <laughs> then another thing I have on my desk all the time, is my bullet journal. This one is a new one I've just got. I do have a few of them, but they are very messy because they are very used already. If you follow my Instagram stories, it's quite long. I don't share anything like that about me journaling in the morning, but you know that I journal because it's super important and as a creative even more. So I'm sure you saw many YouTubers videos saying journaling gonna change your life. It's not a clickbait. And I'm gonna do videos about this. I don't know if I'm gonna title it that way, maybe as well. <laughs> but it does change your life, guys, in a personal level and professional level because it's like therapy, okay? Therapy with yourself. And if you're a creative, again, I'm gonna do a video about how to do it, how I do it personally, to help me as a photographer and creative to organize your thoughts and declutter your mind. It's gonna help you a lot, guys, because I'm sorry you are going around everywhere with million thoughts in your mind 
about what you want to do, which project you want to do, uh, how to grow, uh, how to make more money doing this, what to shoot. Uh, I don't know, million thoughts nonstop. It's good to put them on paper, guys, to be able to be more organized and have more perspective. But again, I'm not going to talk more about this today. I'm going to do a specific videos about journaling as a creative because this is something I love and I think it's going to help you a lot, guys, for sure. I dare to say it's going to change your life. <laughs> then what else? The vegan leather mat. The vegan leather mat I bought, obviously, to protect the desk from scratches and from dirt because comment below who eats when editing. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. And it's very bad, not because of the desk, because you can clean it up or you can protect it or you, you can be just tidy, it's fine. But it's mostly because you need to have break, guys. And this is bad for me because I don't get out from my desk. So at least when you're going to eat, get out of your desk and eat. But yes, unfortunately, I have that bad habit and I eat on my desk. So it's good to have a mat as well to protect it. So as you see, everything is super minimal. Everything is needed. You avoid distractions. You are more productive. And I think is way better than having a lot of things around that are going to distract you. So again, you're going to have all the links below. You're going to check it out. And please, if you have any question about everything I show you, just comment below and I will let you know if you have any doubts about anything I bought myself. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. And I will see you very soon. Ciao.